I want you to go for it. I want you to pick a goal, pick a dollar amount, list all the ways you can make that dollar amount happen, and then just go for it like nobody's business. Don't do all the ways, right? But we just want to list all the ways to help our brain know that there's all these ways that this money could come in, all these opportunities that could come up. Most importantly, I would say, pick the fastest, speediest way, the most expeditious way, the fastest path to cash. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm super excited to be sharing this series with you this year because there's a lot going on. And so um, we're going to jump into episode two today. Today, we're going to map out your sales for this month, your biggest month ever. And I want to give you three steps to your biggest month ever. Welcome to the Holiday Slay series. For those of you who are just joining us, we are going live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1230 Pacific time this month to give you everything you need to create momentum, to slay your sales during the holiday season, and to finish the year with momentum. That's what I really want you to do is have some momentum into the new year. There are, what, 26 days left, and there's plenty of opportunity for you to capitalize and make this your best month ever. And so we're going to do that with some intention and some focus, and I'm the one who's going to guide you. Yesterday, we tackled the biggest lie of the season. So if you missed it, you want to go back and watch it. All of these videos are, are labeled Holiday Slay, S-L-A-Y, because I want you to slay your sales. Um, Holiday Slay, and they're all numbered. So that video is going to be one of nine. This is two of nine. So you'll know where you are in the process if you miss any of the days. So go back and watch that so you can catch up to where we are. And today, what I'm going to do is we're going to create a roadmap to plan out exactly how you're going to get to that biggest month ever that you're looking. Whatever the goal it is that you set for yourself yesterday, because we also decided on a goal, we're going to plan it out. So we're going to do that today. Um, I want to just do a quick introduction. I'm not even going to do a long one. I'm Shamika Tankerson. Um, I am founder and CEO of Shamika International and entrepreneurs come to us when they want to take their businesses from six-figure years to six-figure months and companies and sales teams hire us when they want to multiply their sales and revenue. And we do that using two systems that we have, our Courage to Make Millions training system, and then also our rapid income um, transformation method that we use that helps our, our clients accelerate their income at unimaginable paces at times. Um, I can't even get into the results that we have from doing that. My own business grew over 1,833% over a three-year period of time using the very same strategies that we teach our clients. I want to invite you to join us for this holiday slay thing. I'm ending the year with some momentum and I'm inviting you to do two things with me that are completely free to you. Why? Because it's my give back. I know working with me is not a low investment. It's not cheap. I'm not the cheapest person out there, but we get incredible results and it allows me to be able to serve in a different way for those people who aren't are not quite there and ready yet. So the first thing, the first thing I want to invite you to is doing the daily sales challenge with us. So we've all started, we started yesterday doing a daily sales challenge. So starting today, if it's your first time and this should be your second time today, you're going to make a direct offer every single day. That direct offer can be on live stream. It can be a post. It can be a reel. It can be a story. It can be in direct, direct messenger. It can be an email. Um, it can be on a one-on-one -on -one conversation in some other form uh, on a call. Doesn't really matter, but minimum one offer per day that directly talks about what it is that you offer and gives them all the details. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to come back to this same video and you're going to comment done once you've done it and use the hashtag daily sales for accountability when you've made your offer for the day. So that's how we're going to do that. If you want accountability on the days that we're not doing live streams, because we're doing live streams three days a week, you want to join us in my Facebook group. So my Facebook group is Your First Million with Shamika Tankerson. That's the Facebook group. If you're not a member of that, that's where I'll be posting on the days that we are not doing a live stream. I'll be posting a thread for you to comment on your daily sales challenges inside of there. The second thing that I want to invite you back to or invite you to do this month, if you want to have your biggest month ever, is to join me for the Cash Creation Crash Course. So I decided that this year, 
I was going to give away the, the crash course. I could easily charge at least $997, $1,500, $1,297, something like that to do this crash course because we have made lots of money taking people through this process or help people to make lots of money. But I'm doing it at no cost. Here's how I roll when I do a no cost thing. When I do a no cost thing, the investment for you, because I'm investing my time, is that you invest your time. So I'm not asking you to invest money, but what I am asking you to do is to commit to being with me every day of this challenge and play full out every single day. So when you sign up, we're going to be asking you, are you committed to you know being there every single day? It's going to be one of the questions that we ask you to, um, to allow you to step into the container with us. If you can't do that, don't worry about it. This time's not your time. If you can do that, come on in and join us and then invite a couple of people to do it with you. Not just because you don't want to grow along, but the kind of things we're going to be doing, you're going to require some high level accountability for you to move through what you need to move through courageously so that you can make this your biggest money month ever. The way that you get access to the crash course is just go to letsmakemoresales.com. You go to letsmakemoresales.com, register yourself, answer the questions. It'll give you the, um, the link to the secret location where we're going to be holding the cash creation crash course. And we're going to be together from December 26th. So the last week of the month, we're going to create momentum into the new year from December 26th to December 29th. We will be together every single day and I will be issuing a cash creation challenge um, for you every single day and teaching you something. Um, we're actually going to spend a full week together, but the first four days are the most crucial because I train each day and I issue a money-making challenge for you. That daily money-making action is what you're going to use to bring cash into the door. So we're going to do more than just teach you a bunch of content. You're going to do more than just sit back and take take a bunch of notes and have pages and pages of notes and feel good and clap and say, amen. You're going to implement my framework of simple, powerful action steps. And we're going to get straight to the money-making strategies, bringing cash into the door. So not only will you know what to do, you're actually going to do it during the cash creation crash course. So again, join me December 26th through the 29th for those four days. You're going to immerse yourselves in four days of training, mentorship, coaching with me that will help you to unlock your ability to create cash flow, right? I'm talking making money right now just 45 minutes each day. And then during the cash creation crash course, I'm going to issue a cash creation activity four days in a row. We're going to show you how to break through whatever it is that is standing between you and having more money and cash flow in your business. Plus, I'm going to gift you with some bonus support. So some additional days for Q&A, follow through, some additional training. So we'll be together in this secret container for a total of eight days from December 26th through January 4th. But like I said, those first four days are the most crucial and the most important. Um, once we get into about day two of it, we stop even allowing people to join the container because we want to seal it and we all want to create this momentum together. So if that's you, you want to join, go to letsmakemoresales.com. All right. So yesterday we tackled the biggest sales myth of the season. And I challenge you to sell more this month, like every day, straight up sell. So today we're going to map out this December sales sprint that we're doing. Um, I had a client, this was a couple of years ago. So she came to me at the beginning of October. I think it was, yeah, it was literally her, her coaching call with me in October. And she said, I want to make $300,000. Now up until this point, I think she had made about $300,000 for the year or somewhere close to it, $200,000 for the year. She's like, I really want to make $300,000 for the end of the quarter. And I said, you absolutely can do it, but there's some things that we need to do to make it happen. And so what I'm going to walk you through is exactly what I walked her through in order for her to make the decision to, and get really clear, get the clarity around how she could create that result. What I will tell you, what happened was incredible and amazing because from October to November, every single month, she did $100,000 in sales or more. Those actually ended up being her first six-figure months ever. And I will tell you that every year, I have clients that are having their biggest money months ever in the final quarter of the year because they are focused and intentional about the actions that they take inside of it. So we're going to talk about what that intentionality looks like today. Um, I've had clients have their biggest money months in the month of December, when most people, it's a slow month for them because it's the holidays, right? So I want to walk you through the steps we took and what you need to focus on. And I'll share a little bit of it today. Actually, let me share this story really quickly. 
about um, how your brain works to help you create results. Because I don't think people really recognize how it works. When people come to me and they tell me, I can't find people who are willing to pay me X amount of dollars. I need to find a new audience. And I'm like, you don't need a new audience. I have rarely had anyone come to me who said that, who actually needed to find a new audience. They needed to make themselves findable to the audience that's already there. They still built $30,000 a month businesses, $10,000 a month businesses where they didn't have that before, $100,000 a month businesses with the same audience that they were serving before, even though they thought they needed to build a new audience. What changed? So our bodies are a beautiful thing and our mind is created in a beautiful way. And we have something called the reticular activation system that protects us from being overstimulated. And so I'm going to give you two examples for how it works so you can see how it even works in your business when it comes to finding clients and creating cash. Whatever you focus on, it tells your a signal goes to your brain. It says, here's what we're looking for. So if you're focused on the fact that people don't have money to pay you, your brain's going to continually say, oh, she wants to know about people who can't pay. If you're always looking at your deficit in your bank account or your lack of cash or the fact that you're not making as much money as you want, your brain's going to continually, it's like confirmation bias. It's going to continually show you that. Let me teach you how. So if you've ever test driven a car before, what happens? You test drive the car. And then all of a sudden, that same day, everywhere you go, you see the same car. Not only do you see the same car, but it's typically the same color car. Now, did that car just magically appear all of a sudden because you drove it there? Now everybody wants the same car that you want. No, those vehicles likely were always there. They probably drive with you to and from work, school, taking your kids to school, wherever you go every day. They've been there all along in your neighborhood, all around you. But because we need to filter because our brains are such a powerful weapon and tool, um, a beautiful machine that we can use, a computer that we can use, and we don't want to be overstimulated, we have that reticular activation system that tunes out all the things that is not important to us. Otherwise, we get overstimulated, probably die, from all the information that we're taking in. So some of the information is kind of on autopilot, and it's numb and in the background. And that car was that until you drove it, and it signaled your brain to say, this is pertinent information. Shamika needs to see the white BMW. Shamika needs to see the, um, the black Maybach or whatever, because now she's looking for it, right? Um, similar story that some of you probably will resonate with, and it's a, a, a joke on TikTok and Reels now with um, smoke detectors, right? If you don't change the battery to your smoke detector, it will beep. If you let that beeping go on, so the first time it beeps, it's annoying, right? Because your brain's like, your smoke detector's going off, you're in danger. This is information that you need. If you ignore it often enough, your brain desensitizes to it and says, oh, it's noise and it's going off, but she doesn't need to react to it. So I'm going to tune it out. What happens is you still forget to change the battery. It's still beeping, but you no longer hear it as loudly or as often, or you don't hear it at all because your reticular activation system has just kicked in to filter out the noise. And so until someone comes to your house or you're on a live stream and people are like, is your smoke detector beeping? <laughs> or you're on the phone with someone and they're like, is your smoke detector beeping? You don't, you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot to change the battery, right? That's how powerful that system is. It works in your business as well. So we want to hyper-focus our attention on what it is that we desire to create so that our brain understands that we need all information. So until you focus on what you actually want to create, you can be in an elevator with an ideal client who's giving you all kinds of signals through what they're talking to you about. You can be standing at a networking meeting. You won't react to it because you're focused on the fact that no one wants to buy from you. That's how reticular activation works. When you change your focus, now you start to see all kinds of signs and coincidences and things things that were likely already there and around you. You start to get ideas and creativity and you know exactly what to say now because your brain gives you exactly what you need, the information you need to accomplish the goal. I had a mentor who would always say this, the, the brain is a goal achieving machine. The brain is a goal achieving machine. Whatever goal you give your brain, it will achieve it. So it's important 
the instructions that we give our brain. So if you want to have an incredible month and you want this to be your biggest month ever, everything around you needs to be telling your brain that that's what we're doing. That's where the focus needs to be, right? So my question to you is what kind of momentum do you want to create into the new year? Again, we're going to be supporting you with the cash creation crash course. Go to letsmakemoresales.com. It starts with you having the courage to do that daily sales action. Make sure with the daily sales, you're literally selling. Don't just say DM me, message me if you're interested, like break it all down for them. I want you to break the mold, courageously break the mold of how you typically make offers. Okay. So again, the crash course is December 26th through the 29th. It's going to be super powerful. Go to letsmakemoresales.com to register yourself, invite one to two, two to three people to come to come with you because I'm taking you through the method, methods that have resulted in millions of dollars in sales and landed my company on the Inc. 500 list, not 5,000. We were number 310 on the list with zero ad spend, no funnels, no complicated tech, and clients rapidly accelerating their income to the tune of $100,000 a month as well with some very simple strategies, right? You don't want to miss it. Just go to let, let's make more sales.com. All right. So let me show you how to make this your biggest money month ever. You still have time if you focus, right? That was my whole point of telling you that story. You still have time if you focus. So we kicked this off yesterday, right? We talked about making a decision. Yesterday, you decided how many clients you wanted, how much money you wanted to bring in, right? Decision means we cut off all other, there is no other alternative. This is what we're doing. But I want to show you how to get even more clarity around it so that you can map this thing out so that your reticular activation system can help you to create exactly what it is that you desire. So you can just be just like my client who was able to do her biggest money months ever, three months in a row and hit that 300K goal that she desired to create, all right? So what I want you to do today is I want you to write down, it's a three-step process for me, right? So once you make the decision, you're going to write the goal down so that you can get the brain on board. And I'm going to teach you a way to do that today. I'm going to show you a really fun way that we do this inside of my community. Uh, we're actually going to do a planning session tomorrow for my entire community. And we're going to be creating these. So you want to write the goal down so that you can get the brain on board with it. Have a visual representation of that. So write it down. Write down all the ways you can accomplish the goal. So you're going to write down like, I could do it this way. I could do it this way. We could do this. We could do that. Um, it could look like this. It can look like that. So don't just give yourself the one way when you're brainstorming, right? We just want to give all the information to our brain, but then we're going to go back and we're going to decide and focus on the way that we're going to align our action to create the goal. But what happens when you write down all the ways that you can accomplish the goal, right? We always say, I want to do $50,000 or something even better than that, because now we're open to how it shows up, right? So write down the goal, Write down all the ways the goal can be accomplished, and then you're going to hit it until you hit it. Basically, you're going to go for it. You're going to take aligned action until you hit the goal. Go for it like nobody's business. Don't care what anybody thinks about you. Post as many times as you want to. Ask as many times as you want to. Follow up as many times as you want to. Do your part, and God will do the rest, right? You will get all the, 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 the support that you need when you signal that here is what I'm going for, and I'm all in. Here's the thing. You're going to do the thing and you're going to go all in, but you're going to do it from a detached place, from a place of solid knowing, from sovereignty, not from a place of lack. Because seeds produce fruit and anything done in lack cannot produce abundance, right? An apple tree, an apple seed is not going to produce an orange. So the same thing is true. If it's with the energy of I got to, I don't have enough, oh my gosh, I need to make this money. You are only going to produce more lack. So we need to have that detachment of it's just a game. I'm having fun. I don't care who responds, how they respond. I'm just going to put it out there, let the chips fall where they may. And I'm playing this game of, I want all the good things that are supposed to come to me that to come to me, however they will come. That's how you want to do this. Not from a, oh my gosh, Shamika said, I have to do this every day and nobody's, uh, nobody's responding. I don't know. That's not going to work because that's lack. So we want seeds that we plant to be sown with the feeling of peace and abundance on the frequency of abundance in order to bring in the match, which is the frequency of abundance, which would be the clients and which would be you hitting the goal, all right? So I wanna make sure that I say that because I'm saying hit it till you hit it, but it's not the team no sleep, you know, I'm, I, can't, I can't sleep until I get this done. It's the piece of here's my intentions. Here's what I'm gonna do. Every day I'm gonna do a post. 
Every day I'm going to send an email. Every day I'm going to make sure I make my offer at least one time. And if I have other opportunities, I'll make it two times or three times or four times or whatever. Like if I have a call, if I can do it in Messenger, but I know that what I can what I can count on is I can do a post every day that makes my offer. That's the part that I'm committed to, right? You do what you you do your part, you let God do the rest. That's how we're going to do this. Okay. Um, so we should be on day two of it. Now. If you're worried about making too many offers, annoying people, all those things, because it's such a short time span, right? We're, we're talking a few weeks here. Um, we got 26 days at this point in time. So what's 26 days? Seven times three is 21. So it's about it's almost still about four weeks. So let's say, just say three and a half weeks. That's 27 offers. Now, here's what you need to understand about making these offers, though. Um, I, I need to figure out where the data comes from. But it used to be that people needed to see your offer seven times before they move on it. What's currently happening is that number has tripled. In order for people to take action on your offer, they need to see it 21 times. Let that sink in. Especially for those of you who are like, I'm not hitting my goals. And you've only made your offer once this month or twice this month, or you're doing it once a week. A single person needs to see your offer 21 times before even taking action on it. So put that in the span of this 30 day period, even our daily action, you're like, let me at least get it in that 21 times. Like, let me do one every day because we only have 26 days left. So armed with that information, armed with those facts, right? Armed with the data, now you can make an informed decision how you want to show up as a business owner inside of your business in order for you to hit your goal. So hopefully that takes some of the pressure off, right? But if you're still having these feelings about um, making too many offers, I want to offer you a couple of more things that you can look at um, that I think will help to shift and settle you so that you can do this and be of support to people and actually hit your goal. I promise you that the majority of you, if you're listening to me, you have been giving value all year long. So some people are like, well, I have to like give value first. So maybe I should do a series and then ask for the sale. And that's what slows down your buying cycle. And that's why you don't ask for the sale so much. You're so busy trying to either teach or, you know, bring people along with story. And then you're like, okay, and then I'll make it. And so you do that. You're like three days of this and then an offer and five days of this and then an offer. What I want you to understand is you have sown. We've had an entire year. I promise you've given enough value throughout the year. Now it's time to reap the harvest right? So there's nothing that you have to worry about right now for this next 30 days, because all year long, you've been teaching and training and helping and, and giving away freebies and opt-ins and, you know, live streams and all the things that you've been doing to support your community. Now it's time for you to ask. Here's the last thing that I want to give you. So I gave you the thing about um, how many times it takes for someone to see an offer to actually take you up on it. I've also given you this understanding that you've already given value. Now you can go like one of the reasons why when people first start working with me, they make a crap ton of money is because we go in and we extract the lowest hanging fruit right away because they are givers. They have been giving value, but just not offering enough. We go in and we start putting the offer in the forefront and all of those people come in and we'll end up making $200,000 in 30 days, $100,000 in 30 days. Um, we just had somebody make $200,000 in, yeah, it was about 30 days. It was about four, four and a half, five weeks, $200,000. Like it, it happens all the time because you sow so much, but you don't extract. Okay. Here's the next thing I want to share with you. You have zero opportunity to make $100,000 in sales if you don't make a, at least $100,000 in offers. I'm going to say that again. The probability that you're going to make $100,000 in sales without making $100,000 in offers is slim to none. You might get lucky on something that you sown a while back and somebody shows up, but you're more than likely not going to do it. In order for me to have the possibility, the capability to make a million dollars, I have to minimum make a million dollars in offers. Minimum. So if you want to make $10,000, you want to have 10, a, let's say I want to have a $10,000 client. You're not going to get a $10,000 client until you make a $10,000 offer. Right? So that's the other thing you may want to track and look look at with your reticular activation system is the dollar amount in offers that you have put out there. Now, some of you are like, well, what if I do it in email? And what if I do it on a post? Even though it's being made to a group, I only count that as one time. That helps you up the ante. So if I do an email, that's one offer. 
for that one, like if, if it's a $30,000 offer, that's a $30,000 offer. That's all that it is, right? So that means now I gotta be counting, like how often do I do it one-on-one? -on -one? Have I directly invited somebody to work with me and literally made the offer and said, it's $50,000 to work with me. It's $5,000 to work with me. It's $10,000 to work with me. It's $30,000 to work with me, right? So you can't tell me that you wanna make $50,000, but when I ask you, how many sales calls have you had? How many offers have you made? But you've only made $5,000 worth of offers. Of course, you're not going to hit your goals. The potential is not there, right? We get facts. We can make informed decisions as a CEO of our company. And truthfully, the only thing you really have to worry about when we're doing this challenge over the next 26 days is the inside game. It's the inside of you transitioning and morphing into the person who can now forwardly ask for the sale and make more offers. It's your courage. It's you. You're going to be the delineating factor as to whether or not this works or if you complete it or do it. This is about having the courage to cash in on the value that you've been giving all year long and being forward and straight up about asking for the business. So here's how we're going to support you in doing this and getting the clarity around making it happen because we want to make it happen simplified. Let's break it down, map it out. So we decided on the number, right? Again, if you want to make $25,000 and you want to enroll five people into a 5,000 program, and that's how you want to do it, then you got to be selling the heck out of that $5,000 program for the next 25 days. Got it? If you want to make $300,000 by selling 10 people into your $30,000 program, same thing. Focus on that. Not however many are possible. I think I saw somebody do that. Like I, I, I went to go witness comments and someone said, I want to make as many sales as possible. I'm going to tell you right now, boo, it ain't going to work because as many sales as possible is not enough information for your reticular activation to kick in. It's too much possibility right? We want to be very, very clear on the goal that we're trying to set for ourselves. Yes, it's this goal or something even better than that. I'm open to all the excess that, that can come. I never think that I'm limiting myself by setting a goal. I set the goal with it's, it's understood by me, myself, and I, and everything around me that I'm open to more, right? That is an understanding that we have, <laughs> meaning me, myself, and I. So I set goals for intentionality purposes and for the understanding of how the brain works and how the game works. When I'm intentional with my energy, it can spiral out. You can create a supernova. We can create a, a blast of energy that ripples out and that touches all spaces around me, including other people who get the benefit of me being focused when it comes to my revenue goals. Like their money starts to increase too as a result. Everything attached to me wins because I have so much energy focus in one place. When the energy is spread out with, I can do five of these and 12 of these and two of these and da, 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 the holes and the gaps in it, it's not as strong of a blast. The ripple is not as strong either, right? So the ripple is a little less strong. And so you don't get the impact that you could have if you are focused on a singular thing, okay? So don't be ambiguous. So not eight in this program, three in another program. Your brain needs the clarity, your brain needs the clarity in order for you to have the most impact from the actions that you are taking. Um, your people need the clarity. Same offer again and again and again and again, right? All right, so, so understanding that it can ripple out and you can do more, that's a given. But what I would love for you to do to activate your reticular activation system around this is set up a goal thermometer for yourself. So set up a goal thermometer. What's a goal thermometer? It can look like anything. Sometimes I draw an actual thermometer. I have clients who draw hearts. Um, it's just you taking a, a piece of, uh, what is it called? I was going to say butcher paper, but it's not butcher paper, uh, construction paper or something, poster board, take a poster board and put it up visually. Don't draw it in a journal and close it. Your brain needs the visual. So a poster board, and let's say you want to make five sales. You're going to create a space for those five sales because your, your brain also likes games. So it's like, oh, Shamika wants to color this. Let me give her a reason to color this in. And then the more you do it, you celebrate, you color, you color, you color, more opportunities come because now your brain knows we're playing this game and we're searching for people who will say yes so that we can color in this thing. So you're going to create a poster board with your goal at the top 
You're going to put some slots or some spaces or some hearts or whatever it is that you want to do. Get creative with it. I don't have one here. I was going to go to Staples and buy something because we're doing a planning session tomorrow. I may be teaching this to my clients. I'm going to go later so you guys don't get the benefit of seeing it. But um, you just color it in, right? And you want to put it up in your office where you can see it and actually color it in when you're making money, right? And all money counts. So yes, you want five people in a $5,000 program. But if $100 comes in because somebody downloaded your ebook, put it in there. Because remember, we have this money goal that we're trying to hit. And we're telling our brain, I want it to come. I'm open to how it comes. I'm focused on this, but I'm open to how it comes. Okay. Too many people separate it out. You separate out like, oh, that money doesn't count. It all counts. Okay. It all counts. So that's what I want you to do. And then the next part of this to get the clarity around it, pick a program that focuses on solving one big problem. Your messaging needs to be so clear that people know that you have the solution to their problem and they're ready to jump in right now. Um, yeah, it could be something that you just create for right now. It definitely could be, or it can be something that you already have, okay? Um, it could be that you're doing a four-hour intensive for a group of five people or six people, and that's all you're looking for. You're looking for five or six people to say yes at $1,000, right? That's what I'm going to be focused on for the next 30 days. Um, and all of my marketing and everything that I post and every offer that I post is going to be about that thing. Um, again, I'm just giving you examples and making this up as I go. It can be anything, but we do want to focus and not just say, well, I just want to market and then whatever program people want to get into. We don't make sure all your energy and everything that you're intentionally doing is focused to one end and the ripple effect can happen on its own. Okay. Um, think about it this way you know, where resonance and messaging happens is where what you want to talk about and what they want to talk about meets in the middle. So the way that we do that is we have to think about what's happening in the world right now, right? Um, it's Christmas time right now. It's the end of the year right now. How can your messaging kind of overlap in a way that shows people that you're paying attention to where they are in the problem? And even though it's Christmas season right now, I want you to understand that people will invest to solve a big hairy problem that they have, right? Once you know exactly what you're going to offer, you're going to make that offer boldly and confidently and consistently for the next 25 days, 26 days, however many days we have left, okay? What I want you to understand is your results for 2024 have already started. They actually started probably towards the end of September, but they're, they're starting for sure right now. We're at the beginning of this month. Your January is dependent on what you're doing right now. Um, I explain this in most of my programs when I'm doing work with clients because I want them to understand how we create because most people think they're creating today for tomorrow, which is why people go, well, I posted and nobody responded. I'm like, what you're doing right now, all these posts, all these lives, um, all the invitations you're making, that's actually your money for future. The money you're reaping today is about what you already did. So if you were sitting down eating bonbons in October, you're probably feeling the, the, you're, you're feeling the repercussions of that. Okay, so when you have that understanding, there's no way you want to sit on your laurels right now because that means your January is going to be off to a low start. Can you still unplug and take time off? Yes, we plan for that, right? Um, we just had a mastermind call with our clients on Monday and one of my clients just closed. She did her last training for the year. So what she's doing is she's setting up an automated system where people can buy. She's going to send out emails. People can buy um, by just going to the sales page and buying, but she's going to be intentionally driving traffic to that page in that way. So that money is still coming in. Last year, we had a client who was unplugging. She was going on a vacation for December. And while she wanted to participate in the cash creation crash course, she wasn't going to be available to do it. And she really wanted to spend that time with her family. So what she did is she still took the action steps, but she set it all up before she left. Again, automation. She used automation to do that. And she had people book the calls for future. When she got back from her vacation, her January was filled with calls and she was able to close those sales. So you just have to plan for it and you can still take a break and not have to think about it. Here's what I want you to understand. What you do now is a reflection of what your first quarter is going to look like for sure. So if you're sitting back sipping on cocoa and cinnamon sticks, <laughs> whatever you're doing right now, because it's the holiday season, singing Deck the Halls and all of that stuff, follow la la la. 
saying that you're going to take the whole month off and rejuvenate yourself and you're going to hit it hard in January and, you know, all the things that people say. What I want you to understand is that Amazon's not rejuvenating themselves. McDonald's is not rejuvenating themselves. Walmart is not rejuvenating themselves. The business is still functioning and running. They are working. They're inviting people. They're selling stuff, right? There is business being had. Business is being done right now. These companies, which you should be looking at yourself as a company, looking at what you do as a company if you don't already, they're asking you for business daily, multiple times a day. They're putting sales opportunities in front of you. You need to be doing the same thing. Okay? So here's the deal. Like, I'm taking the week of Christmas off as well, like the week before. We're, we're going to take that time off. I'll do my live stream. So it'll be pretty much calendar blocked, chilling with my family, all of that stuff. Um you know, I may be on my personal page posting things. And even if I am posting for business, a lot of that, a lot of times those things are automated. Um, I won't tell you all my secrets, but yeah, a lot of times it's automated stuff that's already set up to go out because AI is an incredible thing, right? We've been using AI for many, many years. It's not something that's new um, because I've earned the right to do that. Like you earn the right to unplug in your business, but also your business needs to continue even without you. OK, so, yes, by all means, take time off for the holidays for sure. But don't just decide to, like, go dark and go blank and step in January thinking you're going to have an incredible January because it, it doesn't work. And I don't want you to decide that because you believe that no one's buying right now because people are buying. They're making buying decisions for many reasons. I talked about that. So here's the big tip. I just want to map this out for you again. I want you to go for it. I want you to pick a goal. Pick a dollar amount, list all the ways you can make that dollar amount happen, and then just go for it like nobody's business. Don't do all the ways, right? But we just want to list all the ways to help our brain know that there's all these ways that this money could come in, all these opportunities that could come up. Most importantly, I would say pick the fastest, speediest way, the most expeditious way, the fastest path to cash. Okay, what do I mean by that? So if you want to make $1,500 in the next 30 days, I'm using just this small number for simplicity, then what you want to do is probably just find one person who's willing to pay you $1,500. So that's what I would be doing is looking for my one yes for $1,500 throughout the month, right? That is something you can do. So pick whatever the fastest path, the easiest and the simplest path to getting there will be for you so that you can get it done by December 31st and create that momentum that you want, okay? It doesn't have to be, what I want you to do is pick something that doesn't require you to do some big long production and set up landing pages and all that stuff. What's the simplest, fastest, easiest way that I can create this? All right, so again, to wrap this up, what I'm doing to support you to make sure that you can hit this goal is we're doing these trainings. So I'm gonna keep breaking stuff down for you, keeping you focused. Um, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, inside of the Facebook group rule on the days where we're not training on those three days, there'll be a, a thread for you to comment that you did your cash creation action for the day, which is your daily sales challenge. But I'm also inviting you to the cash creation crash course. Again, there's no investment. Yes, I could charge for this. I have decided not to. Your investment is your 100% commitment to play full out and be there every single day and do all the action steps. The registration, the doors to registration is already open. Go to letsmakemoresales.com. You will then be prompted to answer some questions and to get the access to the secret location where we'll be hosting it. We will open up uh, the weekend before. So like the Thursday or Friday before the crash course starts, we will open the group because there's some assignments that you will have to do ahead of time. And we kick off on December 26th. Once again, this Holiday Slay series, the trainings, because I usually only go live on Tuesdays, it's happening. So if you want to be plugged into the energy and the momentum of what we're doing every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll see you guys again on Friday. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1230 
Pacific time leading up to the cash creation crash course, which is happening the final week of this year. Thank you so much for watching my show, my channel. Here's what I want you to do. If you really love what you've been listening to, I want you to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. No, no, really, leave a comment, like right now. I'm not gonna stop talking until you leave a comment. Seriously.